Welcome back, hustlers. And today we're jumping back into Joby Aviation and the recent developments that we've seen in the last month or month and a half. And it's been a while since I've done a solo video, so I can't wait to get into it with you guys. So let's jump straight into the video. So in this video, the main topics that we're going to talk about are the partnership with Virgin Atlantic, the recognition of the leadership on Bonnie Simi, the collaboration with NASA that we all want to discuss, and then the 2025 plans and milestones that I think are vital for Joby's development in 2025. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So on March 16th, 2025, Joby Aviation announced a strategic partnership with Virgin Atlantic to launch an electric air taxi service in the United Kingdom, where I am from. This collaboration aims to offer a seamless zero emission short range journey across the UK, starting with regional and city connections from Virgin Atlantic's hubs at Heathrow and Manchester airports. The partnership builds on an existing agreement with Delta Airlines, which owns 49% of Virgin Atlantic, enhancing Joby's footprint in both the US and the UK market. Virgin Atlantic will support Joby's go-to-market efforts by marketing the service to the customers, engaging with regulators and helping to build landing infrastructure at key airports. Customers will be able to book seats on Joby's air taxis through Virgin Atlantic's app and website, ensuring convenience and accessibility. The aircraft designed to carry a pilot and four passengers can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour with a range of 100 miles, offering a faster and more sustainable alternative to ground transportation. And there's one thing that I know for sure is that Londoners do not like traffic. And if you can knock an hour journey down to 15 minutes, that will be invaluable, especially if you're coming from an airport where you have got a lot of business clients and people who are on holiday and are willing to spend that little bit extra so they get a little bit more time on the holiday they booked. So some examples of these journeys were a 15 minute flight from Manchester Airport to Leeds or an eight minute flight from Heathrow to Canary Wharf. And this can be up to 80 minutes by car during rush hour. This highlights the potential to reduce travel time and congestion. One thing you'd like to know is what sort of pricing will this be? Because if it's extortionately more than a black cab or an Uber, will people be willing to do it? So I'm waiting to find out more, hopefully at this earnings call that the Hustle Brothers will be doing. And if you guys haven't, Make sure you join us there in the live stream because we need all of our Joby fans there. We want to see what all of your insight is and I can't wait to see it. So anyway, back to the partnership. The partnership not only strengthens Joby's global expansion, but also its position in the UK as a leader in sustainable aviation, reducing carbon emissions and enhancing connectivity for the travellers. The collaboration reflects a shared commitment to innovation, customer service and challenging the status quo, as emphasised by Shai Vice the CEO of Virgin Atlantic. Now, whilst we're discussing leadership, there's been recognition of Bonnie Simi. So on March 10th in 2025, Bonnie Simi, Joby Aviation's president of operations, was recognized as one of the top 100 women leaders in, and innovators in travel. This prestigious list celebrates women actively shaping the future of travel through innovation, leadership, and it shines a light on the driving tangible change in the industry. Simi's recognition underscores her pivotal role at Joby, where she oversees flight operations, maintenance, training, safety, and sustainability. Her career is marked by versatility and leadership, having spent 20 years at JetBlue Airways in various operational and strategic roles. As a pilot, she has commanded Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer aircraft at United Airlines and JetBlue. At Joby, Simi has been instrumental in developing programs to train new pilots and supporting the company's efforts to go public, further solidifying her impact on its growth. Next up is the collaboration with NASA on aerial firefighting. So Joby Aviation collaborated with NASA on March the 17th to the 26th to test a portable airspace management system, PAMS, designed to enable 24-7 aerial firefighting operations, even in low visibility conditions. The testing took place in Salinas, California, where Joby flew its remotely piloted aircraft. It's a similar size to a Cessna Grand Caravan over NASA's testing site. The PAMS system successfully exchanged aircraft location and flight intent with Joby's mission management system. 
marking the first successful interaction between PAMS and optionally piloted aircrafts. This collaboration is part of NASA's Advanced Capabilities for Emergency Response Operations, which aims to develop tools for managing airspace during emergency operations and aligns with NASA's broader Advanced Air Mobility mission. The system allows for more efficient and safer firefighting efforts by enabling aircrafts to operate around the clock, addressing the limitations of current operations that cannot fly at night or in heavy smoke. And I think it'd be quite interesting to see, would this have helped during the LA fires? Fire chiefs from the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection attended the testing and provided feedback on the system's fun functionality, highlighting its potential for integration into real world operations. They have previous testing in Watsonville, California in November 2024, and it also showed success, indicating progress in this area. Could this be another string to the bow of EV tolls, and in this case, specifically Joby, where this could become an alternative type of an emergency vehicle, such as a, a fire engine? I'm not 100% sure, but I'd love to know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. So lastly, we're going to discuss what are some of the milestones and big plans that Joby have in the end of 2025. And none are more important than the part certification. In our last earnings call, we heard that they are now up to 50% of the way through. And they were speaking with the FAA, and we've heard that they want to push to get that certification by the end of 2025, pushing into 2026. I, for one, believe in the project, and I do think that they are very close at this moment in time. But I do not know if it will be before 2026. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments. So if you could let me know and tell me, do you think they'll be before or after 2026? Another big piece of news that we discussed yesterday on our stream was the US military is testing Joby's aircraft at the moment. There was a delivery made to Edwards Air Force Base in September 2023 under a $131 million contract. And this indicates a potential new application in defense and security operations. This military interest could open up additional markets and applications for Joby's technology, similar to what we've seen with Archer. Also, when we were looking at Rocket Lab, in 2021, Rocket Lab received a $25 million contract to help develop their neutron rocket. This could be very similar where they've given Joby this contract so that they can work together and design a hybrid EV toll so that they can use it for a military base. So we could see some big military contracts coming up. And I know Joby haven't released it yet, but sometimes Joby like to do it and then tell you rather than to tell you and then do it. So it's going to be a very big year for Joby. The earnings call is probably where we're going to see most of our information come from. So make sure you all watch that with us and about Joby in the comments. I know Phil, I know you're a big Joby fan. Let me know if you think 2025 will be the year for this part certification or are we going to have to wait till 2026? Anyway, that's been all from me, guys. I'll catch you next time.